And then the other thing was, DP Ryder put up a video, which was awesome. It was good to see him. It's good to see that he's okay. I'm sorry to hear that his back was hurting him. I think that's why he said he wasn't riding, because his back was hurting. But it was good to see that he's okay. So that was, that was some of the things that I wanted to really kind of touch upon. I mean, you know, the last few videos, there were a couple of videos sprinkled in there, and it was, you know, there was some things that just kind of like, you know, I felt bad for. So I figured I'd put my, uh, if anybody didn't mind, that I'd just put my two cents in and give some brotherly advice now that I'm 50. No, I got some wisdom. Oh, and by the way, speaking of which, amongst all the, you know, that uh, that uh, cowboy was bringing up, that his birthday, he said his birthday was in July, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think he turned the big five all also. So I would have to say a very, very happy birthday to you, Mr. Smyrna Cowboy. So. That's awesome. And if it is 50, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, and it is your 50th birthday, someone who's been there for a couple of weeks, it's awesome. So, you love it. It's a good, it's a good age. Oh my God, man, it's a bumpy road. So, that would be that. Let's see, what else? Well, you know, a couple of last couple of videos, I touched upon a couple of topics. One was bodily fluids in hotel rooms with luminol being able to detect them. Another one was um, talking about, you know, not swimming in public pools and things of that nature. So I don't know. I think why not just continue the fun. So now it's time for that segment of the show called Let's Talk Gross. <laughs> Stuff that can be completely and totally disgusting. And you know, this is only because I think about shit like this because I just have a tormented mind. Anybody who knows me will tell you that I just either think too much or I am just tormented. But it's stuff that people don't really think about. So let's, let's, let's go on to the next topic. The topic for today would be, did you ever wonder? So, <laughs> did you ever wonder, like, <laughs> where it all goes? For instance, think about yourself and what, <laughs> what it is that you expel from your body on a daily basis. And again, you know, we're talking like, <laughs> you know, that could be, um, you know, solids, liquids. It could be, you know, brushing your teeth in the sink and spitting out the old toothpaste and whatnot. Now, I sure I know in different states it's it, it's different. Like I know in Pennsylvania that I, I'm not sure if they have, you know, sewers yet, but in some places they have what they call leaching fields. I remember when I was looking at a house in Pennsylvania that they, they have like what they call a leaching field or whatever. In New York they used to have cesspools. Now they have sewers. So they kind of connect you to a sewer out to the street. And all that wonderful goodness all just flows out into a huge pipe into a sewage treatment plant somewhere mysteriously. But the idea is, think about yourself and how much you expel every day. And take that and think it on a much more grandiose scale, like your neighborhood, or your, your town, or even your state. And think about, just think about the, the tonnage and the gallonage that, um, you know, that's being produced on a daily basis. And without getting any graph, you know, real graphic, like, where does it all go? I mean, the Earth is only so, so large, and each person, you know, produces so much. And if you figure it on, you know, on a daily basis per person, per state, per country, where 
does it all go? Holy crap! So that's, um, no pun intended. But that's the kind of stuff my tormented mind thinks about. Like, holy, you know, like, that's tons. I mean, that's just tons of stuff that just goes. I mean, holy cow. So that's that. There's, your, there's something that you can think about. And uh, again, one of those things, you know, that um, I think about and I probably shouldn't. That's just one of those things. So, that's basically what I had to say for today, <coughs> or at least for this video. I may be doing another video because on Sundays down at Oak Beach, which is where I put the, I did the last video of my, my newest walk around, and I forgot who had asked. Somebody had asked what beach that was, and that was Oak Beach, by the way, and I'm sorry I didn't write back. They have, every Sunday, they have a, it's like a car and motorcycle kind of like get together. And there are tons of bikes and classic cars, old muscle cars and whatnot. So, I may vlog again on Sunday and bring the camera down and show you some of the stuff that's down there. It is, there's some cool stuff down there. And for you guys like my age or remember the old muscle cars back in the 50s and 60s, there's some sweet stuff there that kind of brings you back to your high school days. It's actually quite awesome. So, and, and one other, oh yeah, one other thing I want to say, um, vote for Chuck, man. Let's get, uh, let's get Chuck, a uh, suburban rider, off to New Zealand so he can do his three months job. He definitely deserves it, and I think he would be awesome to, to go do that job. So, I know he said stay tuned. There'll be some email address or whatnot to send the stuff to. Or maybe it already happened, but uh, I say vote for Chuck, man. He's the guy. So, that's about it. All right, guys, I think I blabbered enough. Again, uh, Cowboy, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry to hear about your, you know, your friend. And Phoenix, keep your, keep your chin up, man. It's gonna get better, I promise. You know, things happen for a reason. Oh, and be master money cash. <laughs> Stop worrying about dying so much. You ain't gonna crash. You're a good rider, man. You do okay. And, uh, all right. So I'm gonna cut this video here once I turn the corner. And I'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Peace. Ride safe.